How's it going, friends? I'm Orosh, and this is another episode of the Outer Worlds. And in today's episode, we'll be uh, finishing some quests. I think I don't know. To be honest, I forgot what we're gonna do. I wanted to talk about some. Why is this music keep playing? Is it like the ambience music? You know what was cool in Fallout? I always did in Fallout 4 in New Vegas. I always would turn on radios and I would just listen to Johnny Guitar. Walk around the desert. That was fucking cool. I wish this game had something like that. But what kind of music would this game aim for? Fucking... 6... no. 50s music? 50s, 40s, 30s? That's the same fucking music Fallout uses. Oh Jesus, fucking gas giant looks so cool. What would kind of happen if there was like a gas giant right fucking next to our planet? Wouldn't that have some effects? You know what I always thought that if... If in our universe every planet was inhabitable... I, f I feel like... I feel like the real world, you know, would be more fucking sci-fi than Star Wars or this game. Anyway, I gotta check what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, Catherine Malin, who's that? I don't... Oh, there you go. Have objectives. I'm gonna use fast travel, because I don't really f think there's a reason for me to go everywhere on foot. I don't think I'm gonna be missing anything, I don't think I'm gonna... You know, like, this game doesn't have a thing that I always like in Skyrim and Fallout. It doesn't have random encounters. You know, when you run around the Mojave Wasteland... Actually, I don't have to think about it. Mojave Wasteland didn't have random encounters either. It was Skyrim and Fallout 4 that utilized these random encounters, and they were really interesting. They gave you some... lore expansion on the world. You know, where you, were <coughs> where you would walk around and run into like a strange character, and then you would find out that the strange character... Is important, like Mike the Liar in Skyrim. Remember Mike the Liar? It's like a Khajiit guy, and he would always say weird shit to you. What's the fuck? His name is pronounced Maik the Liar. But Mike the Liar sounds better. And he's like a reoccurring Elder Scrolls character, and supposedly he's like really old. If that's the same Mike the Liar that was in the previous Elder Scrolls games. Roof Bellany. I wish I could meet her. She's cute. Come on, game. Give a brother a hand. Where the fuck are we going? Let me check other quests. What do we gotta do? The Kumpupa. Return to... No, I already was there. Meet with Catherine. Okay, let's just f focus on one objective at a time instead of doing all of them. Because when I'm trying to do all of them, I'm just getting really confused. As to what the fuck I should do next. And then I end up doing nothing. I'm just saying, if we did need to dispose of a body, this would be a good spot for it. Uh huh. I don't think we need to dispose of bodies. No one really gives a shit if I leave some bandits. Oh yeah, I applied electric damage to my gun. Now it's like fucking good. Not that it wasn't good before, but. Jeez. I know you're excited to murder and everything, but chill the fuck out. Electric damage. This is kind of what I was thinking it would be cool in Borderlands. You know how in Borderlands you have different pieces on your gun. Guns are not only randomly, like you can get a random legendary, but the, the parts of the gun are also, also random. Which means that if you would find... I don't know, let's use an example like the Hornet. I like Hornet, it's like a very normal, easy to use, easy to understand legendary weapon for Borderlands. What was that noise? I don't know. I'd rather not, man. I'd rather fucking not come out and play. I know where there's a legendary armor set in this location. It's uh, somewhere up in the mountains. I know. And it's like really good. It's, I think it looks like this. Like these guys armor set, but it's like better. Incoming. Oh, 
See, when people run at me like that, I could use this. I'm the last of them. I gotta remember that I have fucking move sets and things I can do. Oh, I got a revolver. The motherfuckers had a revolver and they chose to run at me. Smart move. I think I'm doing the quest for Demo Man. The guy who looks kind of like Demo Man, but actually isn't. Oh, never mind. We're going to this city. All right. If you insist, there's also like a facility somewhere later. Ah, uh, somewhere around here. Is that way? I don't know. There's a facility and it's like big. It's the other place I could, I could have landed when I got here. The one that was dangerous, but I chose to land in a safe spot, you know, like a sane person would. Fallbrook. All right, let's go see Fallbrook. I watched another loop, uh, Lupin the Third, and I was saying that I pronounced Lupin wrong, like it's spelled Lupin, L-U-P-I-N. But everyone in the movie that I watched, even in the English dub, the Japanese, they called him Lupin, and I was like, okay, maybe it's actually supposed to be pronounced Lupin either in the French, because Lupin's supposed to be French. His name is Arsène, Arsène Lupin the Third, and he's like half French, half Japanese, or whatever, I looked up on Wikipedia, so I don't know how valuable that information is, so, I don't know if it's either, like, Japanese way of saying that name, or the French one, like, they want to actually stick to him being French, and, but they were saying Lupin, but then I watched this other movie, it was Lu Lupin the Third, Dead or Alive, I think I kind of liked it the least out of all four movies I've seen so far, this one, I don't know, like the villain was some evil fucker, I don't know if it took place in Russia or what the fuck was it supposed to be. I don't know man, I don't know which one I like the most. But not this one I guess. And... and th but in this movie they did said Lupin. No wait, they did say Lupin instead of Lupin. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna call him Lupin I guess. Nobody's sure Trouble what the fuck in. his name is. Or you might need directions to the amenities. Also, the inspector Zagadawa, I think his name is. He has like a sticking out chin, that's like his facial characteristic. But in this movie, that all alive, they made his chin like he has two chins. And it looks so disgusting. I can't stop thinking about like, oh, the fuck, it looks like he has fucking tentacles on his fucking face. That's so gross. Alright, who the fuck are you? This place is an outpost for the sublight, so it's a mercenary no town. Reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. Alright, there's a bunch I of quests we can do here. And facilitate your needs, patron. Guess so, it's true. Fallbrook really is so the we're gonna best hang out in this place, I guess. Accepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Uh, sure, man. Swell. We like you know what? Every time I'm saying like Jimmy Bob's so lies, I'm trying to do a cowboy right. impression. Once you're feeling sated, you're but it doesn't to sound any cabin. different than what I sound like. Ms. Malin can let you Sucks. In. You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. Pray if it's okay, just point me towards Miss Malin. She's... she's not but just down the way. A ten to one says Reputation she's either increase. Or I actually fucked up alone. my quest line for the uh, sublight the on my previous playthrough. Because at the end, this lady asks you to kill when someone. I, sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. Uh, but... but I didn't do it because I wanted to play Keep a good character. And then... Sublight territory. What about it? I remember, right? I'm a fucking errand boy for them, so... So who gives a shit? And what for a fucking mercenary organization? Actually, I think they're mercenaries, but they, you know... Pose as just like being couriers. They do deliver. Death and misery. Take a gander at and I wanna gun. punch your fucking face. I ain't face. ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. You don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are. I'll say he's wearing the gold. same hat fucking red for. I'd like to do you a favor. 
Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Cross your arms. Wink, wink. That ought to be good. Oh, I enjoy a good challenge. I'll get right to it then. My ransom crosses its arms. Like this. I run our drug delivery Get service. on, Lip Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our auto loaders with faster, cheaper sprats. That's a stroke of sheer brilliance. See? I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. I wanna punch you in the Too face. You right you are. Only problem is my sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying. You look more capable than most of the hoople heads around these parts. Hoople heads? Let's say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me. I like that. In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Fuck, make it 35. Not like I have anything better to do. Was that sarcasm? I'm going to assume it was not. If it's sarcasm, you gotta show it somehow, like, with a wink. My sprat carrier scurry back and forth. How about the way I said it? Like, well, I ain't got nothing better to there. do. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. Got the goods? Ow! What the? What was that for? Well, you just kind of look stupid. You're nuttier than Miss Malin. Cripes. Remind me never to cross you. <laughs> Though, you put that mean right hook to good use getting my drugs. And I'll be more than happy. Alright, punch them in the face. Just what I wanted to do. My fucking head, Jesus Christ, oh, it hurts. So what I did there, I was like, my, my actual head hurts. But I pretended like, oh man, my head, oh. It just hurts so bad. I'm role playing, shut up. Hmm. Hey, I'm not stealing this, I can just take it. Look, your candy bar, whoever lives here. Is that a roulette? Oh, it's a fucking darts, but what the hell is this? Why is there so many of these areas? And why is there like a sun in the middle? What the hell? Whoa. What the fuck? Okay. Is this a sublight? No, this is like this planet. Ex oh, it's MSI. Okay. What's it? Monarch Stellar. And what does the I stand for? Monarch Stellar intelligence, let's say. What's wrong with your eyebrows? No, but thank you. I'm quite all right as I am. We're gonna find Kaffer. Can't fathom why you'd go searching her out, but it's your neck on the noose. I was told she runs the saloon. <laughs> Don't suppose I could just ask you to scram. But I thought buildings can't even walk. How does she run it? Deal? A rather bad one indeed. The fella swore Fallbrook was unrivaled in its leisurely pursuits. But it seems to me the whole town is designed primarily to leech one's bits. And now that I've run... Alright, you're a fun guy. Let me fuck with you too. If you were complaining... Oh, look at this. Ain't looking for Cowboy. Nope. With nothing cool to say. I'm disappointed about this guy. I wish you could put more customization items on your face. Because it's like you get to have one thing on your head, so you either have a hat or you have glasses or something. So I can't do like a cool combo of having goggles and hats. Which uh, kind of sucks. Is this robot gonna notice that I'm stealing? Is he even evil? Is he like seeing me? Okay, that was a risky move for me. Just stand in front of a... Should I do something about this? Is he gonna get upset that I'm using it? I nah, didn't seem too upset. Have you heard that? <laughs> Hope you didn't. I feel sick. I don't know. Last step, two episodes ago I was saying that I feel sick. And I still do. I'm thinking of recording. I don't know, like this whole quarantine, I thought maybe I'll treat it like. Like I was recording during summer where I would do three episodes a day. So then back when I, you know, when we, when I would go to school, I'd have at least so many fucking videos that I wouldn't. that I could. I remember when I made so many videos when I started this channel. 
And back then I didn't have like, oh, okay, I'm gonna make this videos a week, you know, if I'm, for example, every fucking morning, I'm gonna, after breakfast, I'm going to record like two videos. So I'm going to do some other shit and also edit it at the same time. Let's search the room. Try to figure out where he's gone. Okay. Oh, well, you're short. What happened to you? Oh, someone decapitated your knees. My axe. Oh, I'm not. Oh, man. You're dead. At least you got your legs back. One of them, I guess. Since you're Sounds dead. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold banning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. I see you met your ends meet. Alright, you know this music that plays in the background sounds extremely similar to Borderlands. And now I've been comparing this game to Borderlands. No refunds, a lot. no exchanges, I no. Can't help returns. it, it just sounds really similar. And no whining about it either. If you bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. Even though I would like to see what would happen if in Borderlands Whoa. So blood sniper rifle. Why can't I use it? I'm level why can't I use this? Can I I can't buy it? Oh wow, I saw light sniper rifle. Restricted stock. I think I have to increase with like the friendship or something. But look I can't buy a bunch of guns that I want. Oh that's good to know because I wanted to buy some of these things. So now I know I who to visit if I need it. And, low prices. Pick and one now what's the best part? You can park your ship here you so, I can, it, you buy it. so I can go back to my ship really quickly if I want to. So I don't need to worry about how I was keep selling all these cool items I found. I can keep on selling them. This guy sells armors, right? I test every product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rash. No rubbernecking. Make yeah, oh, he has an iPad. Give me that. Now he has sublight armor sets and nothing really. Like, what's the best armor in this game? I don't think there is one because you can upgrade armors and you can basically. You shopping for pre owned or new? I don't know, like, take. Space of choice it? generic yeah. armor, and you can upgrade Sounds it to be the best. Owned and run. Caters to a variety of clientele. So, I guess it all depends on what color of the armor the you want. Catherine. Yeah, and? Do I look like the city planner? I wasn't exactly consulted on the blueprints when Catherine started building out Fallbrook. But now that you mention it, I reckon she had on a second thought, forget I'll it. I'll try. But I never forget a customer. Yeah, especially one as handsome as me. You had green hair, what are you, the fan of Joker? Why are you so serious? I'm gonna ask you why you're so expensive. I'm gonna go follow you, like in Skyrim. I know I keep comparing this game to every other fucking RPG I ever played. And Borderlands. Well, Borderlands is kind of an RPG. I don't know, the term RPG, I don't think like. Every fucking game nowadays, it's some part an RPG. God damn it, I broke my ankles. Again. It's like a fucking place here. Insurance agent. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. Oh, yeah, I robbed you. provider of life and disaster related insurance. Okay, I don't want I'm insurance. I'm inform you that our. So. That's all for now. I don't want insurance. Oh, we're you selling cones? Can I have a lovely cone? Thanks you. Thank you, I don't want the fucking cone. Oh, ammo. Is that ammo? Energy cell. So it is ammo. We're just selling some garbage. I know there's one quest where you have to bring Max into a secret location. Oh, the, it's not a secret location. Come back later. Oh, why is it so dark in here? I thought it was like a... Oh, because it's night time. Okay. I don't think about it. I don't remember, to be honest, ever noticing some kind of uh, 
Then a night cycle transition. What was that a heavy sniper rifle? Dude, they got these in stock, and I'm just kind of ignoring all this cool shit I find. I, you know, I started to think. I thought for some reason that this week we're gonna get like really close to the entrance somehow, but no, I, I think I forgot how long this game really is. I'm just making sure that I'm not missing every any like collectible items. Crap, I just stole something. In front of everyone. Damn it, I'm a thief. How will I live with that? Okay, Max, I know I know a special person you would like to meet. What about this place? Can you buy a house in this game? I know you got you get your own ship and everything, but can I buy a house? I hope you're keeping up, Max. And look, it's uh, Reginald Chaney or whatever. Max, beat him up. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never Apparently, Vicar Max is kind of You're just a kind of fucked up to be living honest. off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Uh, no, let's not call him down. I don't want him to fucking kill him. I'm not sure what's happening here, but I'm always up for senseless violence. Please proceed. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you severely. Beat wait, him. Wait, wait, I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Hell yeah, violence. I wholeheartedly concur. Beat the fuck out now, of him. Where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. You're repeating so yourself. <laughs> Wait, stop! Please, just listen to me. It was where stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. It's not gonna Weird beat him, is he? Lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. Yeah, why don't you put what? him? No! Incoming. Somebody bleeding. <laughs> Come on, Max, it's your fight. That's the last of them. Fucking murdered him. Feeling better? I want to thank you for not interfering back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my violent enthusiasm. So that's what it and looks it like. Right. You know what? I ain't gonna I stop you for being a fucking psychopath. Long, pretending I was something I'm not. I've spent my life chasing an illusion. And you're back to stalking the fucking poetic bullshit. Accepted who I am. That's quite a turnaround. I'm sure it would seem such to you, but I don't believe it is. I think I always knew this day would come. Bow, bow, I was just bow, afraid bow, to admit bow. it. All this fucking guitar in the background. To myself. Really fits it with this whole conversation silly, about him if you accepting that he's fucking psychotic. I think I'd like to find this hermit he spoke of and give her the book. Maybe she can find some use for it. All right. Thank you, Captain. I know where I she is. She's on that uh, that moon we've been to one time. Help put all this behind me. She's pretty easy to find. Maybe we'll even go and do it right now. I mean, no. I want to talk to this lady I had to talk to. And then we're gonna do it. I know there's also a bunch of quests taking place in this location. So, we might as well do that. Except my ship isn't fucking here. Can I somehow summon my ship? I mean, my ship is piloted by Ada, so couldn't I just tell her to fucking come here? Ah, uh, what's up? Ain't in the mood to chat. Yeah, cool. You're, aren't you f supposed to fucking chat to me? You're sitting behind a fucking desk, you goddamn piece of shit. Alright, how about you? You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine sends you back here? You know, I do look like a smuggler. On I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I, don't know. I look what's like a order? goddamn psychopath. Uh, and w aged no, whiskey. I don't have any... If it's only a drink you're after, the full bar's upstairs. This here's the ante up, where you place your bets. No, oh, well, fuck if you. If you then. ain't here to bet, I'll kindly ask you to vacate my uh, bar. I'll kindly Basketball, ask you to shut the fuck races, up. Card games, you name it. I ain't picky. 
and neither is Catherine. We'll both break. Yeah, fuck you. All right. Let's see what's up here. What's this? What are you? <gasps> Toss ball. Oh, I wish you could move items like you could. You know, Skyrim. You know, the other game. Obsidian made fun of me, Vegas. So you're the one. Fuck off. I swear to fucking get you cowboy piece of shit. Get out of my fucking way. Folks I never met before are my most favorite kind. Shit, you look like John so, Lennon. So, what's your story? Except a girl. She look cute. I don't want to drink. Strangest thing, really, but I was frozen in space for 70 years, and then one day... Well, let me just stop you right there, stranger. My question, it's not one I really want an answer to. Not unless it accompanies some extra bits. Understand? How many bits? More than you can afford at this time. How many bits for me to tell you of my life story? Your eyes do not deceive you. This bar serves the sweetest... Looking for work. Who ate these days. I ain't got work, well fuck you then. Ain't nobody got work. If only I was willing to do so much work in real life. What's up? Nothing? Cool. Cool, yo. He's the man. Let's go. Uh-huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? I'm wearing goggles. Why is it every sissy pig can't fucker see who strolls cool. into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. I've been sent here by Only nugget of the higher ups, I think. Law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Actually, I don't know what the fuck cool, I'm doing here. Forthright. I admire that. Yeah, Max, Truthfully you're a psychopath. Spoke. I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. If by nugget of paradise I mean piece of shit, then sure. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll, I'll have write to it work down. harder to show you just what makes our town shine. Might wanna but stop first, smoking because you what sound like you, a goddamn pirate. Well, I'm half listening. The boss sent me. Funny, you don't look like one of Lilia's. Sure sound the part, though. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. Yeah, I kind of took my back up weeks ago. That's took my that's gonna time. Require special extraction from Cascadia. How special and what sort of something? Special as in unlawful, delicate, and deadly. As to the something, no, it ain't a person. Not this time. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. All right, I can get it done. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with me. Oh gosh, it's not even you with gotta me. Gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe uh, a ventilation system. Sure. Clever. That's why Lilia's paying you. I take it. Yeah, now, so clever. After you clear the manty nest and reach the, the most storage clever room, fucker. all that's left I is to get the gas to the every fuel fucking system. time I record. The task will require it's someone not as bad with as the days, but, oh, Jesus. Or you can force it through with a plasma overload. Don't oh, recommend body. Why would I know tell her about people she doesn't know? Our resident vicar is pretty good with computers. Well, I haven't seen the system, but I feel confident saying I can split her asunder. I'll just bet you can. Men of the cloth never do cease to amaze me. I funny how like I was like, yeah, Parvati can take care of this the uh, engines. Ellie can cook something up. Nyoka's yeah, pretty good at hunting. Vicar's Max, he can probably hack the computer for me. Felix, I've marked the coordinates for you to the he's kind of useless now to think about it. Use the passcode Actually, no one even invited him to my crew. He just kind of invited himself. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. All right. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. What if someone decided to live There's their life the way people the way. do in RPGs? Let's say you would go out Lundberg, and just ask absolute that strangers do they need anything right taken care point. of. And then I you will. write it down. Clear as that. <laughs> Maybe they would even mark it on your map. Stars, I hope so. 
And Clyde then you would just fucking go and take care of shit for them as long as they pay you. Is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. And then you're not even like employed in or anything, so you could like negotiate how much money you want for it. Up for my I want that and if they ain't paying up, you will just kill them. That'd be funny. And you're the soon to be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. Alright. Kill him, run him out. I don't rightly care for the details. So long as Clive knows resistance to me is costly and futile. Hit him where it hurts. Futile. In his gut or his production line. Just say Sometimes kill him. Sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Alright, since I don't really want to uh, continue any of these, I wanna go on Remind my ship. Me never to get on Ms. Malin's bad side. I will. Pissing in the alley. Why is it that every time I'm watching a cool movie? Oh, can I summon the ship? Whoa. Where did it came from? Let's go to my ship. Every time I'm watching a movie and someone walks in, they just have to walk in on like the dumbest part of it. Like when I was watching fucking. Uh, Big Lebowski and my mom walked in and they all and they had to fucking talk about pissing on the rug like she couldn't walk in on any other part but the pissing on the rug when they were discussing how dude had some guy pissed on his rug I one thing I noticed because I was watching it online and I noticed in the comments of that video someone pointed out is that Stop how does dude you it's so a Ford, you know. You're anticipating it. Oh, you having fun? Of course I'm anticipating it. What if I shoot a friend on accident? That's on account of your stance. You want to lean into it. Embrace oh, it. shut up, Bavadi. You're a fucking murder you're machine. Alright, uh, the fuck that I came for me on my ship for. <laughs> I think I wanted to speak to Felix. Felix. Good to see you, boss. Fucking asshole, you don't have anything to say? I fucking hate you, Felix. I fucking hate you. You're the fucking worst. Son of a bitch. Oh yeah, I wanted to travel to the fucking moon. I a Shut the- wait, what? From Roseway, from a Dr. Shaw. Oh, hey. Him. Captain. I have received a transmission from- Yeah, I, I heard that. What? Oh, is this on? Hey, I remember oh, him. on right now. Oh, blast! Hello? I'm trying to reach the captain of the unreliable. I'll keep this short lest I get caught. Orson. Please Kinda return my to name. Roseway as soon as you can. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Alright, I will. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? Damn, engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is the... complete, Captain. Cool, thanks. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Your computer. You don't need to sleep. Okay, we gotta go back to Scylla. There we go, Scylla landing pad. Destination reached. Scylla. Destination unknown. Let's fucking go. Thicker Max, we gotta bring him on this quest. Are these stogies? Finest cigarettes, oh, it's cigarettes, finest cigarettes, and halcyon. Whatever the fuck, cigarettes, oh yeah. You know what? This quest we're about to do is probably one of the most interesting or pretty weird quests. We're about to meet a hermit. On a weird planet where it doesn't seem like it's inhabited by anyone, other than some weird bandits for some reason. Yeah, like you know what? Now that I think about it, this doesn't make this kind of doesn't make sense. 
this whole planet. Like, there's no fucking city on it. And there's just bandits. Like, wh where the fuck they came from? What the fuck is their business here? There's like some abandoned people that once worked here, but now they're like... Insane? It's kind of like a borderlands when you ask, oh, where did the bandits came from? Well, apparently when Pandora was first discovered that to have a vault on it, and Doll moved in, and they were like they doing their digging up bullshit work, right? Uh, then apparently they used a bunch of criminals as their workforce, and that's where the bandits came from. That's the last of them. I really like Borderlands lore because it feels like it has enough lore to be interesting and have some mystery surrounding it. But not too much lore where it's confusing and you don't know what the fuck is going on. Now, some of it is funny. Some of it is grim and dark. I like that balance. Kinda like Fallout lore, you know, because Fallout has a bunch of grim and dark things with torture and experiments of humans but then he's like funny shit you know what's funny? no matter when I would try to fucking record Skyrim I bet I'll still do it before Elder Scrolls 6 comes out you know just, just in case it comes out tomorrow Oh, remember how I was how I was telling you about this PS Now, and I can that I wanted to get a subscription for it. Well, it's not available in my region. I think I was telling you about this right already, haven't I? And here's the hermit, I think. So I think Vicar Max doesn't really care about the book translation anymore. I think. I'm trying to remind myself of like the personal quest for people. In Fallout 4. I don't think they were really long either. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I have no fucking idea I and your hair looks like it's I made of plastic. Seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Uh, yeah, we were to rob you. What you got? Not much. But you are free to take whatever you wish. Please, leave me a few morsels of food, though. I may not eat a lot, but I still do need to eat. We are not here to rob you. I've brought this book for you to translate for me. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it. Oh yeah, you know, but like in other worlds good. too. For example, for Max to come back, and he would be like a evil motherfucker. He could kill him. To fully comprehend. Or if I, maybe like Felix would come back and turn out that Felix is a loser. I my mind is prepared even more than he already is. Um, look, can we just move this along here, please? There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. When you say ingredients, you mean drugs, right? A crass way to put Losers it. But yes, don't. Chemicals that can I mean, winners don't do drugs. The and I am certainly not a winner, so give me them. Well, you say you're prepared, but right? Is he truly? How did you find me? What happened to the thief who stole my book? I don't know what happened to him, but we uh, killed his son. But we had a good reason. Or maybe not. In hindsight, we may have acted rashly. You know what? We did have had a good reason. <laughs> I, I don't know if you kill him because I don't really give a shit. One little murder. Do you believe that flippancy will aid you in your endeavor to convince me? No. I do not believe your vicar is suitable for my tutelage. Ah, uh, come on, you. we come all this way. I must refuse. Ah, uh, fuck you. There is no telling what the experience would do to a mind such as his. Let's kill So him. that's it. Take the damn book, then. It's useless to me. Sorry, Captain. Clearly, we'll get nothing out of this charlatan. I see now it was a mistake to come here. 
Oh man, don't... Oh fuck. No, I didn't get the sick quest. I fucked it up, wait. I like how fast it loads. No, I failed the quest. I shouldn't have told her about the murder. Please just take whatever you'd like. Oh, come on. Wrong, wrong, wrong save file. How about this one? I'm not labeled. I don't see a picture. There's just the other worlds and the date when it was saved. How about this one from four minutes ago? Can I repeat my dialogue with her? Maybe I can this time convince her that I'm here to seek guidance or whatever. Let's not tell her that I want to rob her and fucking tell her that that we committed one little murder. Can we just fucking kill her? I swear to god, we're not nice people. I think we established that already, that we're not here to fucking please everyone. We're just here to get rich and help Phineas in the end. Oh yeah, I forgot about him. There we go. Better than nature. anti Cleo's anti... Bullshit. Alright, how about... how about now? What have the soul... I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mm. Make I wish I could get this, this book translated. Yours. I can translate it. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. There is one way that can speed up the process. Either hallucinations followed by unconscious... A... Mm. I don't know what happened to him, but we... Uh, killed his son. How about this his one? His actions say otherwise. Obviously, his preparation is... How about this? Impressive. Please. Her profound words do not make... Okay. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. Worst that can happen is he's driven insane. Hell yeah, I want Small an insane price. companion. And a risk I am more than willing to take. Fuck it, yeah, fuck it, yeah, let's I'm do it. Committed. No. As I am. All right. Head on into She's the like, meditation I... room and project... Call you husband and husband. Concept. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. I do. I love you, Mac. Oh shit, sorry. Got up in your face. Let's take some drugs, motherfucker. Let's do it. Hey, Max, get over here. I'm gonna breathe deeply. Oh, well, look, a cutscene. It's really this way with this quest is so cool, because it fucking plays a cutscene. Not many quests do that. Whoa, it's a ghost. Why are you still doing this? You've been fighting against the world since before you left home. Shit. Haven't you figured out yet that Am I seeing this? The more pain you cause yourself. Dude, Max. You're dead. You can't be here. I knew this was too good to be true. These are just cheap hallucinogens that have... <clears throat> Max, what's wrong? What's happening to my voice? Does my voice See what happens if we hit her. And what's wrong with your face? If she's a hallucination, why am I seeing her too? We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Uh, perpetrated? I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Oh, hell yeah. Always ready to give up, to lash out, always searching for answers. But always in the wrong place. Vision man. Okay, vision man. How about giving us answers instead of hollow platitudes? And platitudes from a figment, figment of my imagination, no less. Who said I wasn't a figment of your mind? But you know the truth. You don't need someone else to tell you. You've always known it. Everyone knows it. They just won't see it. They just want to see We're what. Overwhelmed with stories from our earliest days, the stories others tell us, and the stories we tell ourselves. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to 
drop your story and see the truth. How about we cut to the chase, your lady? Figment? If you insist, you must give up your fantasy of control and embrace the chaos of life. Okay. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architects plan to slave away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never... You know, Vicar Max seems like the most boring companion, but he actually ends up being the most interesting one. This whole thing, it's... Farce. Are we gonna get a visit from your dad too? Just my own brain working against me? Shit, man, I don't know. You couldn't be more right. I seen it too. Hello, Max. Look, it's Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined, controlled. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. It would be cool if I could make my character look like a ghost. Like there was a mod for it. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Yeah, Max, why do you do that? I don't. I mean, that's not how it is at all. I just... I don't know. I mean, I like you killing people and all, but... Is to try to be a gooder... Better person than I am? I don't think murder is making you a better person. Well, he's Raymond Hands. It's Raymond Max. A story to control everything. A new story of the happy you, the contented you, me. Don't become a that's not ghost. Can't be right. I've only been searching for the answer to the equation because it will set us free. Won't it? I don't know, Max. It all sounds but like bull crap. To make any decision, to have your life completely controlled, the illusion of certainty. The illusion your of what? Your allowed you to avoid the real question: Who are you? I'm Max. Me. I'm real. You can't convince me otherwise. Please don't convince me. I'm not. Uh, yeah, please don't do that. I'm invested in being me. Your individual self is what's not real. It is simply a concept. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Architect. architect. How could I have believed in an architect? That's ridiculous. I must be losing my mind completely. What you're saying almost makes sense. I remember when he called Krakow an idiot. Inside our thoughts. And now it seems like he doesn't know what the fuck he's anymore. That's it, isn't it? We have no control over anything. That's it, Max. You figured it out. It's all lies. How could I not have seen this? But how do we escape our ourselves? You're doing great, Max. Do you think the Kermit would mind if I throw up in the corner? <laughs> Luke threw up. Max. I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. Thankfully, all that talking and arguing ruined my high. Ruined? You seem to be having quite the time. Hell yeah, Though I, I must did. admit I was a bit concerned when you stripped naked and tried to eat your clothes. Yeah, I meant to I do was that. joking. You passed out fairly early in the process. Well before I realized what an ignorant fool I've been. So even though I was letting Max be Everything violent, perfect. he I end up having the same result as I did when I was trying to make him resolve everything peacefully. Okay, whatever then. So you weren't as prepared as you thought. You're obviously gone insane. I don't want to call him insane. Really? Have you looked around the colony lately? No, no. Not perfect in that sense. But it is still perfect. It's all there to be experienced to be lived. Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control... If you say so. 
Content. I finally found what I was looking it's for. It's really windy today Even for some fucking reason. Even though I have windows closed, it's still like fucking hitting on my door. Hey, lady, we got high. So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes, it is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. Yeah, I'm tired of all the talk, and I'll be leaving. Fuck off. Well, I need to listen to this crazy old fucking lady. Let's uh, level up. I'm level 20. 10 more levels to do. And uh, 10 more levels to do. If I'm level 20 right now, is it possible that I could increase one of my skill trees beyond... Maybe I could do a third skill tree skill to like level 100? I don't think so, because I need level five, 5 levels. I need 4 more levels. I think I'll be able to max out 2 of my skills and then increase 1 more of them. Which I'm not sure which one I would like to increase. Maybe like talking? Like perception or charisma or something? Or maybe like tinkering? I, Graham is so close to the truth. No. Oh. But he'll never How see it. Done? He's too busy wielding it like a bludgeon to support his own self-image. What are we this talking about now? This leaves him unhinged and unaware of the consequences of his choices. I urge you to be careful in your dealings with him. His mercurial nature makes him a bad choice to lead anyone. Yeah, I think so. He might look cool and all that, but... <laughs> For that's your opinion. As much as I usually appreciate the board's ordered approach to governance, in Monarch's case, they aren't really running anything so much as leaving everyone to rot. So what do you Unless say? Unless you agree with them that the inhabitants of Monarch should be forced to evacuate? Or die from their stubborn rebelliousness? I think we should let Zora Sanjar... Zora is unbending and ruthless for sure. I'd be hesitant to oppose her. But she gets results. And she doesn't suppress intelligent discourse. Ooh, so you're saying I should somehow get Zora. But Zora has what it takes to save Monarch. Oh, that's an interesting. I would try to somehow resolve all of this. Alright, thanks for your input, Max. I really appreciate it. Uh, long guns, since I'm using them more often. Then we're gonna go with pistol. What, what is this? Additional ammo stuff. There you go, that's cool. Wait. No, 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 no. Additional consumable and general stock on vendors. I don't really buy ammo from vendors. No. Fuck off. Maybe this. Alright. I'm gonna leave over here. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.